Too many missteps. That's what a Richmond school board member is saying about the lead up and response to that devastating fire at Fox Elementary. Thank you for joining us here on CBS 6 Weekend. I'm Jake Burns. And I'm Tracy Sears. New tonight, problem solver Tyler Lane has an update on the progress school leaders have made on updating fire alarm panels at schools all across the district. Tyler, these panels were missing a key element in order for them to work properly, correct? Yeah, Tracy, a phone number with the area code, if you recall. Now, tonight I'm learning that Richmond Public Schools has just under a dozen more fire alarm panels that still need to be reprogrammed. In the meantime, though, they've secured fire watch personnel to monitor these buildings. More than two weeks since a disastrous fire ripped through William Fox Elementary, several alarm panels inside Richmond Public Schools remain uncorrected. I too fail to understand why it has taken so long. So long. You might remember the night Fox went up in flames, the school's alarm system did not notify the alarm company because the panel had not been reprogrammed to include the 804 area code. That was a change required by Verizon in order to make local calls beginning October 2021. Now I'm learning RPS has hired fire watches to monitor multiple schools where alarm panels have still not been updated with the right phone number, according to a spokesperson. The reality is that uh, that um, uh, should have been done uh, not not today, not yesterday, but should have been done a, a long time ago. Essentially, a fire watch is someone who provides surveillance of buildings and looks out for any signs of fire. The measure can be ordered by a local fire marshal if there's a violation of the statewide fire prevention code. An RPS spokesperson pointing back to that missing area code. According to an email sent from RPS leadership to school board members, all but 10 facilities have been reprogrammed as of Friday. The ones that haven't are too old for local vendors to come and fix. So RPS is working to install cellular dialers in those systems. Among those schools, Ginter Park Elementary. Fire alarm at Ginter Park Elementary School. Saturday night, first responders were called to Ginter Park for a fire alarm notification. While it turned out to be nothing, a spokesperson says a fire zone map, which is used to help firefighters locate emergencies, was not readily available. RPS is now auditing. Anyone who spent even a moment in any kind of school and or commercial facility knows that you have to have ready access to uh, maps that provide for ingress, egress, uh, in, partic in particular relevant to a fire. Bottom line, way too many missteps. While school board member Jonathan Young says the ball has been dropped on many occasions, he wants to give credit where it's due. I do know our folks init initiated a prompt audit uh, of all of the facilities relevant uh, to uh, all the different uh, mitigation measures. And first responders also indicated through dispatch there was not a key holder on file for Ginter Park Elementary on Saturday. Now, that would be an administrative employee who could let those firefighters inside. So instead, they called security who arrived within 15 minutes. Now, I reached out to RPS for confirmation about that key holder not being listed, and I'm still waiting to hear back. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Tyler Lane, CBS 6 News.